you're an awesome dad. You're amazing. You're magnificent. You're the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. You are great. You're so faithful, O God, in our lives. Hindi kami kaibig-ibig, pero inibig mo kami, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa tunay na pag-ibig, Panginoon. Na sa'yo lamang namin mararanasan. Patuloy ka namin aawitan, pagpurihin, Panginoon. Lord, open our hearts, open our minds, Father God, for your words today. That every souls, Panginoon, na makikinig, Panginoon, sa mensahe mo, Panginoon. Titi mo sa bawat puso ng bawat isa, Panginoon, at ma-apply sa pang-araw-araw namin pamumuhay, Panginoon. Lord, we will just deep in, we will just dive in your presence today, O God. Lord, take over, take control, Panginoon, ang iyong gawain, Panginoon. And Lord, I pray sa mga anak mo, Panginoon, na nakikinig, Panginoon, sa lahat, Panginoon, na naabot ng um, online service na ito, Panginoon. Maranasan, Panginoon, ang tunay na kapayapaan, tunay na pag-ibig, Panginoon. That they will just dive in your presence today, O God. And Lord, we claim victory upon victory, favor upon favor, blessings upon blessings, Panginoon. Lord, we bring back all the highest praises and glory to your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Magandang magandang umaga po sa lahat na nasa FB Live. So, welcome po kayo dito mga kapatid. Sabi nga, if you are first time here, comment down below so that they can acknowledge you mga kapatid. At welcome kayo sa aming FB Live. Mga kapatid, alam niyo po ba na marami nangyayari sa mundo, but God is worthy to be praised. There's a joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya naman mga kapatid, hindi aksidente na nandito ka. God will do great things, amazing things in your life. Mga kapatid, always believe and trust God, mga kapatid, sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa. Alam niyo ba, dahil maraming gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo at hindi aksidente na napunta ka sa page na to, kaya lagi naman natin tatandaan na kami rin ay eh, may gagawin para sa ministry natin. Kaya naman, panoodin natin lahat ito. Greetings to everyone. Ako nga po pala si Sister Weng and excited po ako na ipahagi sa inyo ang aming gawain sa buong linggo. Sa Monday, meron po tayong pastoral devotion kung saan ang ating mga pastors ay nagpapalakasan sa presence ni Lord. And sa Wednesday naman po, meron po tayong midweek service via Facebook Live. At inaanyayahan ko po ang bawat isa na makinig at ma-encourage sa salita ng Diyos. At kung gusto naman natin haranahin at mararasan ang presence ni Lord, tara, samahan nyo kami na at umawit sa aming Thursday Prayer and Worship Night. And sa Friday naman po, sama-sama po tayong mag-aral ng salita ng Diyos sa ating Bible study. At susundan ito ng celebration sa katapatan at kabutihan ng ating Panginoon sa ating online service via Facebook Live. Sabi nga ni Lord, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Kaya inaanyayahan ko po kayo na makibahagi sa pagpapatayo ng pinakaunang church temple natin na itatayo sa Lubaw, Pampanga. Sa mga nais pong magbigay, just contact our aunt. Amen. Salamat po sa bawat boy na isa ng bawat isa. Kung meron po tayong mga talent, pwede po natin ibigay ito sa ating Panginoon. Sa ministry, of course, naanyaan po namin ang bawat isa. Kaya you message us if you want to, to join us here in M5 for Jesus Christian Church Incorporated. Salamat po sa bawat isa na nagbibigay ng time, talent at treasure sa ating Diyos na buhay. At salamat din po sa gusto mag-share ng love at gusto mag-share sa ating church building sa Philippines. You can find it contact Pastora Chai Fen in the Philippines and Pastora Christina Humeras here in Doha. You can contact them on the, the screen. There's a screen there. You can
can contact them in their mobile number and also via Facebook, WhatsApp, and Evo. So, salamat po sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa na patuloy na ibinibigay o ibinabalik ang kanilang tithes and opening para sa ating Panginoon upang magamit sa ating simbahan. So, para naman po, sabi nga sa salita sa Philippians 4.19 that my God shall supply or and it's according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. God is able to give you everything that you want in your life. You want it in finances, you want it to strength, you want it to wisdom, God will provide because He is able. Mga kapatid, maraming salamat sa bawat isa na napatuloy na ipinibigay at nagbabalik sa ating Panginoon. Amen and amen. Palakaan natin ang Diyos na buhay sa bawat buhay. Ang bawat isa. Hallelujah. Amen. Sabi nga nila, Sabi nila, itong ipapakilala ko sa umagang ito. Sabi nga, are we all excited? Kung titignan nyo, yan talaga yung trademark na tumatak sa ating pastora na to. Kaya are we ready and all excited? Let us pledge the message of the, the Word of God by our very own pastora, Abigail Santos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our dear brothers and sisters in Christ across the globe who are streaming with us today via FB Live. We welcome everyone, especially if this is your first time to join us. Welcome to Aim High for Jesus Christian Church Incorporated Friday online service. We are blessed and we are glad because you came. Wherever we are right now, let the Holy Spirit speak to our hearts for today. Let's enjoy, let's plunge into the presence of our almighty God because God is here and God is good. Are we ready, beautiful daughters, sons of the Most High God? Are we excited, kingdom people? Let's stand and let's make our Bible declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I have what it says I have. Today, I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess, my mind is alert, my heart is receptive. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. I will never be the same in Jesus' name. Remain standing, my dear brothers and sisters, and let's pray. Yes, Lord, Heavenly Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise for today. Lord, we thank you for a beautiful Friday. We thank you, O oh God, for your mighty presence in our lives, in our midst. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. Be our teacher, be our guide, anoint us, Panginoon. Lord, ikaw po ang magsasalita sa hapon na ito, Panginoon. Itago mo po ang iyong anak sa iyong likuran. Tangin ikaw, Lord, ang manakila, ang mapurihan, ang maluwalhati sa umagang ito. Pinupuli ka po namin, pinasasalamatan, Lord God. We're excited for your presence. Be with us, O oh Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the message of our loving God. So on the previous Friday, we have learned that God is so good all the time. Life is full of questions. Life assignment. And for today, the title of the Lord's message is the joy of the Lord is our strength. Pwede po natin ulitin, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Our scripture verse for today is found in Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 9 to 12. From generation to generation, God is 
is faithfully raising up leaders of leaders who will be part of his redemptive plan or his assignment. Take heed of his call. So today, let's have a quick overview. Let's study about the life of a Jewish leader, a mighty man of God, who is known as... Sino nga ba si Nehemiah? Nehemiah was a high official in the Persian court of King Artaxerxes. He served as a cupbearer of the king. Pag sinabi po natin cupbearer, sila po yung, he's the one who fills and distributes the cup of wine in the royal household, in the king's table. At dahil po doon, he has an access, he has the position to speak to the king. Isn't it amazing that God gives us various talents, resources, gifts, access, influence in preparation to the assignment that he has given us to do. King Artaxerxes loves Nehemiah so much. He trusts Nehemiah. So isang araw po, some of the Jews spoke to Nehemiah. Nehemiah found out that the walls of Jerusalem was broken and its gates have been burned with fire. Dahil po si Nehemiah ay isang Jew and nang nalaman po niya what happened in their city in the walls of Jerusalem. He felt saddened. Nalukot po siya. He felt the burden in his heart. Because during that time po, ang wall po of Jerusalem, ang wall was very important. It is significant because it served as a defense. It served as a protection against the attack of the enemies. Nang nalaman po yan ni Nehemiah, so he asked wisdom from God. He talked to God, he fasted to God, he prayed to God, and asked wisdom as instructions from God. And since Nehemiah is the cup bearer to King Artaxerxes, one day, nang nagsiserve po siya, nang inumi ng hari, kitang-kita sa mukha ni Nehemiah na malungkot po siya. And the king asked him, bakit siya malungkot? What is his request? And because Nehemiah found favor in the eyes of God, and Nehemiah found favor in the king, sinabi po niya, that the city of his father's tomb has been broken down. That the city of Jerusalem, the walls of Jerusalem, was broken. 